Hi, uh, I wanted to talk to you today about how to groom your miniature schnauzer. Uh, when I first started out grooming a schnauzer, I didn't know anything. Um, I went to the library and I found books and I, I looked for magazines and uh, I even would look uh, for calendars that had schnauzers on them to see what schnauzers should look like. Uh, like I would look in Schnauzer magazine and see pictures of show dogs and how their how their hair looked. And so, you know, it's good to have an idea of what your schnauzer should look like once you've groomed it. Uh, so I didn't even have a grooming table, and, and I used to have one, but I don't have one now. Um, so, you know, you don't have to have a grooming table. They are very helpful if you have one, uh, but you don't, they're not necessary if you groom your dog at home. I also started out with just a regular pair of hair clippers that you might be able to buy. Back then it was for $20 and I just started grooming or cutting the hair, clipping the hair off my schnauzer and I had a, a collection of paraphernalia of brushes and combs that I had from previous dogs and most of them did not work well with the schnauzer. So it was just through trial and error that I learned how to groom a schnauzer. Um, now remember, uh, if you make a mistake grooming your schnauzer, it's very forgiving uh, because the hair will grow back. Um, but, you know, just be patient and before you know it, you'll be grooming and doing a good job. But first I wanted to go over some things that you might use. And these are the ones that I use regularly. I use a stripping knife and although I do not strip my schnauzers uh, I have seen um, people who strip their schnauzers and it's uh, usually people who show schnauzers and they pull the hair they grab it and they pull it out actually and get rid of every little bit of undercoating on their body and they look like um, they have some kind of skin irritation and everything from where they had all this hair pulled out and then once this thick uh, coarse hair grows out on them it looks nice but after they've been stripped they look kind of sad looking but I use this for uh, combing the undercoat out on their legs and on their feet and um, in their beard and you have to do it very carefully because if your dog starts to get uh, mats or if some of those hairs um, get clumped up you will have to comb out the end of that hair first and then separate the lump part out and then cut that lump out but a stripping knife is a good uh, item to use. It helps get the undercoat uh, out and it also helps to comb through that undercoat and get the extra stuff out. Of course, schnauzers do not shed. That's the greatest thing about schnauzers. I mentioned some scissors that I might use and maybe in one of the other grooming videos you've probably seen them but there are these round tipped round tipped scissors and they curve just a little bit okay and this is a small uh, pair and you use this one for um, clipping the hair around the paws you can lift their paw up and clip around the edges of the paw and on the bottom of the paw with these and it has just this nice curved edge that fits nicely over the paw 
and gives a good um, um, form around the paw, makes it round. And uh, you can use these also for uh, around the edges of the ears, uh, like in the video for grooming a puppy's head. Um, you pull the ear and, and hold it between two fingers and then you just trim the edge of the hair off um, uh, right above the skin all around the edge of the ear and you can also use these uh, little ones for um, clipping the long hairs out of the ears like you bend the ear back and uh, what little bit is sticking up you can clip those and and this doesn't make any sound like the little clippers would or anything so the, these come in handy um, I was trying to think there may be one other use that I use them for. Let's see. Uh, so anyway, we've talked about the ears, the paws, um, around the paws and under the paws. Oh, for uh, clipping out those uh, balls of hair. That's what these are used for. Now these are also uh, rounded tips and they're curved as well only they're a longer pair and these are used for clipping around the legs um, it helps with behind the legs on the back side if you clip them this way you get a nice kind of a edge coming up some fluffy hair coming out of the back of the leg this is good for uh, forming that and also uh, the skirt underneath your schnauzer's uh, belly if you um, cut from the elbow of the front of your dog at the the lowest point and curve and cut up to the groin area to make a nice pretty skirt that's that's what these are used for as well and also uh, on the hind legs, uh, cutting in the back and then cutting in the front of the leg to give a nice shape to the hair on the leg there. And then too, just if you want to round the, the hair on the legs, this is a good one. It can reach in uh, farther and get close you don't have to be right in there real close you can be out a little farther and and look at the legs and make sure that they're the same height so the large set and the small set and you can purchase these either at a dog center or there's a, a couple of different dog magazines like Foster's and Smith uh, I do a lot of business with them and uh, find that their prices are, are good and sometimes you can get free shipping and so uh, they have high quality uh, tools that you can use so you can get those there and then um, this is a Oyster Mini Max uh, clipper it has a little finger thing here and this clipper is used around the head area and the neck. It's used from the neck up on a schnauzer. It is also good to use on the butt and the tail and uh, inside the back legs. And if uh, you want to um, cut the hair on a, uh, the tummy of your schnauzer, this is a good one to do on the legs inside uh, just on the outside of the private area or uh, make a use you know uh, u shaped on the stomach and trim it so that um, it's cleaned up there and and you're not getting very many knots or tangles there so that's the mini max I love this uh, I started out using a uh, men's a uh, clipper for sideburns and mustache. It's a mustache clipper and that works pretty good for a while but the blades on those 
aren't, uh, they don't last as long. They don't stay as sharp when you use them regularly. So I found that these uh, last a long time. Uh, just be sure that you clean them and oil them regularly. And they do a great job and stay sharp. And they do have the blades available on in the magazines and stuff. And so you these you can't beat these. I love this. Great tool and not so uh, expensive. Now this would be your biggest expense. I use a Oyster Golden A5 clipper, and um, it the, you're going to spend some extra money for a good set of clippers. Uh, but I recommend a size nine for summer on the blade, and I recommend a ten for winter time. Uh, a size 9 takes their coat down pretty short uh, on their back and that's where you you know want to use this this is just mainly for the back now if for some reason you've let your dog get a lot of tangles or something on their neck and everywhere you can use this to just cut them down or shave them down and let their hair start growing all over again uh, but like I said, uh, 9 for summertime and a 10 blade for winter and for their backs only, okay? And this does cost a little bit more money. money. Uh, I did mention earlier that I started out with a $20 pair of clippers. And if that's what you want to start out with, that's fine, you know, to start out like that. But if you have one or two or more or two dogs I mean it's worth it uh, the money that you will save from doing it yourself rather than taking them to the groomer is phenomenal and you'll you'll pay for your clippers before you know it it's just that initial cost and if you can't um, purchase all these things at one time just you know purchase one at a time and maybe use something else for a little while until you can afford to buy the other now lastly um, I use a pedicure a pedicure nail um, grinder if you will um, there's another one called oh, pedipause not as good uh, I like this one um, I I used to um, be able to use it without the cord. It could be cordless, but I just prefer to keep the cord in. And it does come with um, some, well, if you look here first on the side, it comes with different sizes of um, holes for different sized fingernails. Oops, I'm pinching the wrong thing. There you go. So if you even have uh, different types of dogs at home, along with your schnauzer, you can groom any size fingernail there. Okay. And now this does make a noise, um, kind of like a clipper. And uh, at first, your dog, when you stick their little fingernail in this little hole, and it goes, you know, like that, it kind of scares them. So I found that first, uh, just like if you have a new puppy, uh, you would want to turn on this clipper or the big clipper or any of these pieces of electronic stuff that make noises and just let them run in the presence of your dog. And when your dog is kind of used to hearing it turn off, turn on, turn off and let it run a while. Just, you know, expose them to that sound. And then, you know, let them smell it while it's on. And then rub it, uh, not around their ears at first. You know, that kind of, oh, you know, that makes them nervous. But rub it on their back uh, of their neck or on their shoulder or just anything that's touching them, you know so that they're used to putting it close to them. And then um, for this one particularly, 
because it's kind of so surprising the first time they stick their little we stick the fingernail in there and it grinds it in our it makes the noise and it feels uh, rumbly to their the sensation is like you know a rumbling kind of thing give them a little treat if they let you do it just for a second put it on and if they pull back you know you uh, when you put it on say good dog and give them a little piece of treat and um, before you know it uh, you can do more of them you can do another one and in the beginning you can give a treat for each fingernail and then as they get used to it which after that they 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 pick it up pretty quick and they're not as afraid you can do one whole paw and give him a treat and my male schnauzer he comes right up he'll lift his paw up because he wants it to be done and then he gets a treat when the whole front paw or toenails are done and then I do the rear ones and give him treat a treat for those as well and he's a little bit more ticklish on his rear feet so um, he gets a treat for each paw so that is it. I mean, that's uh, six different things. The pedicure uh, petite, it's called. The oyster, and you can get whatever brand name you want. I've heard of Andis and some others, but the oyster brand is pretty good. And then this oyster mini max, as far as clippers. And then, let's see, so that's those three. And then your stripper, stripping knife, a stripping knife, and two pair of rounded tip scissors, one long and one shorter, or one small pair. And now I have had these for 10 years and they're still going good or, you know they're still pretty sharp I think uh, after 10 years I may consider buying another pair of these smaller ones you just use these for so many things and uh, or else I could find someone who will sharpen them so that's a that's also one maybe other tip I would say on these larger clippers you can buy extra blades of course but if uh, you go to your barber or uh, beauty salon, sometimes they use clippers too, you can ask them, where do you get your blade sharpened at? And uh, you can get your blade sharpened if for some reason they don't feel like they're as uh, sharp anymore, they're, they're not doing as good a job. See about having them sharpened, having your blade sharpened. Um, another... Uh, suggestion here these two items will um, when you're using them on your dog will heat up they get hot and so on this little one it's in on the big one it's wise that after you've been clipping on your dog for a little while touch it to your own skin and you know do some then touch it on your own skin do some and if it starts to feel warm then turn it off, uh, do something else, like use your little scissors and clip, or work on a leg, the leg hair on one, or something. But give it time to cool off before you start it again, clipping on your dog, because you know that can create a bad um, experience as far as grooming, too. Uh, and the same goes for these big clippers. So, you know, you could use these until they get hot. And then use the smaller ones. Work on the head for a while till they get warm. You could recheck the large ones. If they're cool, go ahead and continue working with those. But if not, work on scissor work. Okay? So, well, uh, I hope that this has helped give you an idea of the tools that you would need for uh, grooming your schnauzers and or, and just be sure that you look at some books to see um, what schnauzers should look like 
um, and get some ideas. You know, some people like the eyebrows really long and other people like them short. So, you know, it's just up to you to decide uh, how you would like your schnauzer to look. And once you have a particular look that you like on your schnauzer, then just groom them that way every time. All right? So I hope that help, helped you. And uh, I look forward to uh, demonstrating some of these tools uh, so that you can learn better how to groom your schnauzer.